Guys, so Monday, OnePlus announced their new phones, the OnePlus 9, 9 Pro, and 9e. They're coming out at the end of the month. Let's talk about all the details. What's up guys, it's your boy Manny back here again with one more review. Guys, before we start the video, remember, comment down below, like the video, hit that subscribe button, and that notification icon so you can get notified every time we post a new video on the latest and greatest tech. All right guys, so the teasing is finally over. Monday, OnePlus came out saying that they're launching their new lines of phones. They're coming out with the 9, the 9 Pro, and the 9e. So they're coming out with three phones. It looks like what they're tailoring this to is the camera. That's the main focus, that's what they're doing. We have been seeing leaks in the days to come till Monday. We've been seeing leaks of what the phone looks like, that they're partnering with Hasselblad, but it wasn't for sure. It's for sure now, guys. They're partnering with Hasselblad. Hasselblad, if you guys don't know, they're a Swedish company. They make really expensive cameras. If you haven't seen the video of the teaser with the whole moon bouncing around in the city, Hasselblad is a company that made a camera that they actually took to space. So that's how that correlates to the moon. So I think that's really exciting. Um, I think that OnePlus is, is, is focusing on the camera. As far as the phone goes, I've told you guys before, I love the OnePlus 8 Pro. That's what I have here. That has always been my favorite phone. I mean, just all the specs that you get into the phone and such a tiny, like just perfect fitting phone in your hand. I mean, you can't compare. And now they're trying with the 9 Pro and they're focusing on the camera. You know, Apple did it with their 11 Pro Max. They made their bigger sensor with the bigger sensor, the tilt shift. They did a lot different, you know, with the phone. Samsung also focused on the camera this year with the S21 Ultra. They made sure that they were refining that camera, making that phone better, and OnePlus is doing the same thing. I think the phone itself is a great phone. I think the screen is a great screen. I think that where it had room to improve was the camera, and that's what they're doing today. Um, so it looks like March 23rd is the day for us to wait for. Uh, March 23rd at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when they're gonna announce, uh, launch the phone. It's gonna come out for pre-orders that same day. Um, they're gonna announce three phones. It looks like it's the 9, the 9 Pro, and the 9e, which is kind of like their starting line of phones. Um, so far, um, there's been a lot of leaks on what's to come and what to expect. It looks like the 9 Pro, um, that's what I'm really going to focus on because that's what I have here, the 8 Pro. And that's obviously their top tier phone and I think that's what most people are going to go for. Um, so it looks like they're announcing it in three different colors, a black, a silver, and a green. Um, if you've seen online, it looks like the black is going to be like a matte black, kind of like what Samsung did with their Phantom Black which is awesome. You know I raved about that color and I thought that color was great. So if they could incorporate some type of black like that into the OnePlus 9, I think that's gonna be awesome. Um, there are rumors as well that on the 23rd of March, they might release a watch, a OnePlus watch, you know, kind of getting everybody, uh, getting their ecosystem bigger so everybody could jump in the OnePlus train. I think that's awesome. Um, you know, for so long, it's been either the Apple Watch or the Samsung Galaxy watches um, out there. And I think it's awesome to throw something in there, a third competitor in. Let's see what it is. There's been a lot of rumors. Um, nothing is confirmed yet. It might be Google OS, but we don't really know. But they might launch that. Um, also, they're going to come out with new uh, AirPods or EarPods that they're going to have. Um, so that's also something to look for. But I don't know, I just kind of wanted to make this video just to kind of give you guys a heads up on what's coming on, on the 23rd. I'm definitely going to pre-order it. I'm definitely going to have it in my hands and I'll do an unboxing and I'll do a review. Um, but I just wanted to go over the key little features that they've announced. Um, it looks like every week they're going to be announcing different little like clips and videos to kind of tease you more on the phone, which sucks because I can't wait to get my hands on it. Um, and just talk to a little bit about the OnePlus 8 Pro, I mean, I love this phone. I've told you in separate in other videos that this phone is just great. Um, it's one of my favorite phones. Just the phone, the way that it is, it's just, it's perfect. I mean, I think it still has a curved edge. A lot of people don't like the curved edge because you might get accidental touches, but it's not so curved, so it can fly. Um, the phone is very thin, which is amazing because I think it's just 
It's very minimal to put in your pocket, very lightweight when you throw on a case on it. It stays very thin, so you don't have to worry about having a big bulge on your pocket when it comes down to a phone. I like how thin it is. You still get the big screen, but unlike the, you know, like let's say the Note series of the Samsungs or the Apple, the Pro Max, when you go into those phones, it's thick. So then when you're holding it, it just feels a little thicker and it's a little bit more awkward to reach. Since this is so thin, it's just very easy to reach the corners and very easy to use the phone. I mean, it has the 120 refresh. Uh, you don't have to go down in the quality to get the 120. You get it all the way at the top. It's got wireless charging. Finally, they added it to it last year, which is something that they were, you know, kind of holding back for a couple years. They finally added it. The cameras have always been good with OnePlus. Um, the thing that I like about the cameras the most is that they have a macro camera. A lot of people don't really care for it. I think it's pretty cool. You could take some really good images, um, you know, of things really up close that you would normally take. So I think that kind of makes the phone well-rounded. If you think about it, everybody is focusing on the main camera. Then Samsung started focusing on the zoom camera, but there's nothing really focusing on like getting really, really close into detail. And I think that that's what makes this camera pretty much complete. You know, you can zoom all the way out and get super ultra wide. You can zoom all the way in and get something really far away, or you can get super close to something and get that tack sharp detail which I think that's what makes the camera very, very appealing because it's, again, a well-rounded. So the fact that this phone has a great camera and it's such a nice phone and then now OnePlus is upping it and they're going ham on the, on the camera, they're really upgrading with camera, I wanna see what it is. I wanna see how it works out. Hasselblad, you know, they've done partnerships with other companies before for cameras. I wanna see how it comes out in the OnePlus. This might be, a hit or miss, you know, it, you know, if it's something that comes out good and the cameras perform how they should, this is gonna be huge for OnePlus. If it's something that doesn't, the cameras don't perform, then it's gonna be a, a downer because I think that these cameras are very good. So let's wait and see guys. March 23rd is not too far away, a couple weeks. Um, as soon as that they come out, I'll do a video with that so you guys know what's really coming out. I'll definitely pre-order it so we can come on camera and do a review on it and let you guys know all the details and everything that really is coming out. But that's it for today's video. I just wanted to cover kind of like what they announced on Monday and what should be coming out and what we might see on March 23rd. Guys, this is your boy Manny with one more review. Thanks for watching.